What is up guys? It is Tony here and today we are taking a look at the M1 MacBook Air 7 core uh, GPU 8 gig of RAM playing X plane 11. Uh, this is one that was highly requested in the original uh, set of benchmarks so we're gonna go ahead and check it out. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw up everything to max. I don't know how intensive this game is, but I'm gonna give it everything but the kitchen sink. Cause these M1s can handle it sometimes. Um, shadows on scenery, metal driver, that's good. I'm gonna rock 1050 resolution. Actually, you know what? Let's go 1280. Actually, no, let's do 1050. It was, I think it was at lower than 1050. I think it was at 900, so a little upgrade. Uh, so right off the bat, this thing is lagging. Does that say one frame a second? Five frames a second? Okay. So I don't know if we could change anything from here, but we need to. <laughs> so, yeah, we definitely shouldn't have went all the way with it. I'm gonna keep visual effects at HDR. Okay, we, we may need to exit. I can't do anything, it's lagging like crazy. <laughs> okay, the game froze. Um, so yeah, don't max this game out. I think some of you guys who play this game probably knew that wasn't a good idea, but I did not. I. Oh, yeah, I don't know what to do. I think I'm getting like less than a frame a second right now. Oh no, I'm turning. Why am I turning? Why am I turning? <laughs> okay. So at medium, it's running smooth as butter, which is not to be, you know, unexpected. But I'm wondering now that we have the metal on, if we can get this thing to run a little bit higher in the settings. So, okay. So I'm gonna move everything up a step and take a look how it looks. So the game looks incredibly better, I gotta admit. So we're going to add full power and immediately start turning. It doesn't tell you how to stay on the runway, but it tells you to stay on the runway. So let me just watch this again because I wasn't really paying attention to the frame rate. I was panicking. <laughs> so it looks like at high we are dropping frames. So. If you want to run this game smoothly, you're going to have to be running at medium, um, which to me, to my eye, actually looks like a big compromise with this game. Um, the the actual uh, runway, the actual scenery takes a huge drop in quality. Like at this high setting, it looks pretty nice. It looks, to my eye, pretty believable from a you know normal viewing distance. But the minute you get to that medium, the texture quality takes a big hit. So let me see if it's possible to focus on textures. So this this looks really, really sharp and really good quality. Um, but it looks like we're getting good frame rates. So let's see if that's true by running off the runway one more time. Oh, this frame rate is a lot better than the settings we had previously. So if you bring down um, a few of the settings and, and keep your textures high, uh, like bring on your anti-aliasing, bring down your anastrophic fi uh, filtering. If you bring down those, and of course use your metal driver for faster rendering, that's a big deal. This makes a big difference right here. You're gonna get some pretty realistic looking graphics here on this game. So that's not too bad at all. Um, yes, I know that me taking off would make a big difference, um, but 
for some reason, this tutorial isn't even giving me the right, the, the instructions I need to know how to take off. And that's really upsetting. <laughs> now, obviously, like if I had a, uh, the joystick, we'd be in business, but I don't have that. So obviously, if you're playing this game, you're going to have the, the equipment you need to run it. Um, like I said, like you're going to have to tinker with the settings. Um, there's certain settings that are definitely going to take down this, this uh, GPU uh, very quickly. So uh, and that looks like it's mostly the anastrophic filtering and the anti-aliasing. So if you bring those down, which honestly, like looking at it right now, yeah, I could see where the anti-aliasing is, you know, lacking. I'm going to zoom in for y'all. But you can kind of see, yeah, you can kind of see here and even here how the anti-aliasing is, you know, kind of lacking when you lower it halfway. But to be completely honest, when you're zoomed out, as you can kind of see now, you're not really going to notice that. What you're going to notice is the sharpness of the textures all around you. And that's the thing that I noticed the most. But again, it's all in your preference. So don't expect to be able to max it out. Expect to have to compromise on settings. But overall, the game seems to run pretty well, pretty fluidly. At first, it was giving me trouble. But I think a lot of that was because I was using OpenGL. Make sure you're using metal. Restart, you know, check this, uh, check this uh, box right here and then immediately restart. So this box right here where my mouse is um, because that is gonna turn on the metal driver and allow you to use um, something more native to Mac OS, Big Sur, M1. Uh, OpenGL has been a huge struggle for the M1 between Counter-Strike and a few other games, so. Big, big, big up right there for having this in the settings. So there you go. That's X-Plane 11. Uh, if you guys have any other suggestions for games you want to see on the M1, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.